back. You're watching Overdrive. Now, Mahindra and Mahindra has been in the news off late. First, for picking up a majority stake in electric car company Reva, then for putting in a bid for Sanyong Motors, and now for launching their first commercial big vehicle under the Mahindra Navistar joint venture. So, a big truck requires a big man to test drive it. So, guess what? We sent our Sandeep Srikant to do the honors. Now, over the past month, I've been out testing a lot of hatchbacks. Now, don't get me wrong, I have nothing against hatchbacks. In fact, I own one myself. But I was really looking forward to driving something a bit more size appropriate. Yep, this will do nicely. It's called the MN25 and yes, it's a truck. MN for Mahindra Navistar and 25 because it can take a massive 25 ton payload. It's big, imposing and at first glance as well built as any car or SUV you can buy in India. And what's more, the MN25 has been designed and developed in-house by Mahindra with some technical inputs from partner Navistar. The MN25 is the first truck to roll out of Mahindra Navistar's purpose-built factory at Chakan. Built at a cost of over 1,500 crore rupees, this sprawling 700-acre campus will churn out over 50,000 trucks a year when running at full capacity. Most Indian truck owners buy bare chassis and have their bodies built by coach builders. But the MN25 will roll out of Chakan fully built up to the buyer's specifications. A first for Indian trucking. But what's even more impressive is this cabin. If you've spent any time at all around SUVs, you'll find the layout quite familiar. But what's really overwhelming is the space that's available. One of Mahindra Navistar's main aims for the MN25 was to reduce driver fatigue. And the result is a very driver-focused cabin. Air conditioning is optional, but these ceiling fans are standard. The steering column adjusts for reach and rake. The driver's seat moves forward, back, up and down, and the backrest also tilts. So whether you're 5 or 6 foot tall, it's easy to find a driving position to suit. And did I mention the beds? Now here's something that you can't find in any SUV. Sleeping space for two. And it's no cubby hole either. But sadly, I haven't come here to get my beauty sleep. So time to get up and get driving. The MN25 runs a tweaked version of Navistar's 7.2-litre Max Force diesel engine that produces 210 horsepower at just 2,200 RPM and 880 Newton meters of torque. The engine has been optimized with four valves per cylinder head to maximize fuel efficiency in Indian driving conditions. So, driving experience. Well, it's got everything that you'd expect to have in a car, an SUV or even a truck. Hydraulic power steering and a six-speed manual gearbox. But what takes a lot of getting used to is this driving position. You're sitting so incredibly high. In fact, it's a bit like sitting on the edge of a cliff and waiting to bungee jump but never ever taking off. Now you must be thinking, a 2-litre car engine can produce 300 brake horsepower. So why 7.2 litres and only 210? Here's the deal. Unlike high revving car and bike engines, these giant truck motors are slow revving and hence produce max power at just 2200 rpm. That's why the MN25 uses a 6-speed gearbox and more importantly, that's why everything seems to happen in slow motion, especially if you're a regular car driver. But that doesn't mean it's slow. This truck maxes out at 90 km per hour, almost 10 clicks faster than the Indian standard. And for an inexperienced driver like me, that's plenty fast. Now this is usually the part of the show where we take whatever vehicle we're driving by the scruff of the neck and fling it around a few corners. But I'm not going to try that with something that's 32 feet long and has 10 wheels. I'm just going to try and get around a corner. A few corners in fact. Gently. When you drive a truck for the first time, taking tight turns can be downright terrifying. Turn in too fast without checking your mirrors and you find yourself climbing the barrier. Turn in too late and you won't make the turn at all. But unlike other trucks I've driven, the MN25's chassis feels balanced and planted and after just a few minutes, my confidence grew. 
Who says you don't need muscles to drive? You need muscles for this. The fact that I was confident enough to clown around after only a few hours behind the wheel is testimony to just how easy the MN25 is to drive. And Mahindra Navistar is banking on that along with a wide dealer network and 24-7 support for service and spares to make the MN25 a big hit with truckers and fleet managers. Launched last week with prices starting at just under 15 lakh rupees, the MN25 is a truck that Mahindra hopes will revolutionize Indian trucking. Ambitious plans that this machine looks like it can fulfill. That wraps up Overdrive for this week. If you liked what you saw, then you can catch it again on our YouTube channel. If you'd like to stay in touch with the Overdrive team, then visit our Twitter handle. We'll catch you again next week. Till then, from all of us here, goodbye and thanks for watching.